Thank you so much for coming to Polly and Val's with me. <laughs> Wasn't it great? Sonny, it's a kitty show. We were the only people in the audience who weren't dressed by Armani. This was even too childish for me, and I think you know I'm pretty childish. Yeah. You, like yeah, yeah. Yeah. you know what? You don't understand. I used to live my life by Polly's pledges. <laughs> Always respect your parents. Always keep a promise. Ooh, like the fact that you promised to pay us $10 for coming to this stupid show with you? Mm -hmm. Pay up. Right. Here's your money. Oh, hi, Mr. Condor. Terry? Uh, actually, my name's Tawny. My first wife's name is Tawny, so I'm calling you Terry. And Terry it is. Nice to see my star supporting the newest members of the Condor Studio family. <laughs> hey, Polly. Hi, Mr. Condor. Uh, I love that bear. Oh, oh, there's, there's, there's Sonny. It's not a Jonas. It's just some guy in a bear suit. Ah! Girl up and go talk to him. I can't. I'm too nervous. Well, he means everything to me. I used to watch him every single day as a kid. All right, all right. Well, just relax. We'll all go with you to Polly's dressing room, and we'll introduce you to your childhood hero. You guys would do that? Yeah, for another ten bucks. Uh, you guys are the best. with a cell phone or any kind of recording device? Nope, just me. Oh, finally. Yeah, there's a person in there. Hi. Hi. La, 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 la. You gotta be kidding me. Aren't you a little old for this? Is anybody ever too old for Polly? Yeah, me. I've been this gig in the last 25 years. <laughs> You're not gonna leave till I sign your photo, are you? Fine. What's your... My name uh, is Sunny. Dear Sonny, Polly loves you very, very much. Rainbow, smiley faces, blah, 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 and a portrait. You know, I imagine this moment much differently. I think somebody's forgetting Polly pledge number 17. We're done here. No, wait. Polly pledge number 17 is, mind your piece of carrots. You're a regular super fan. Wow. <laughs> yeah, you have no idea. In fact, um... Can I just ask you for one more thing, and then I promise I'll go? Look at me, I'm Polly. You know, I wouldn't let you do this for five. Please, who are my shits? I just were I okay? Who is Wow, you are disturbingly good at that. You make an excellent Polly. Really? In fact, how would you like to be Polly for like an hour tomorrow and give your pal Hank a chance to spend his time spot? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I can't. Yeah, I've got plans with my boyfriend tomorrow. All right, out of the suit. Come on, come on, come on. Out of the suit. No, come no, no, mine. No, I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. Congratulations. Consider yourself a bear. <gasps> I feel like I'm being crowned the queen of the North Pole. <laughs> wow. Uh, North Pole kind of smells like high school gym. <laughs> Anyways, I just need to push back our date for an hour. Happy seven-week anniversary. Oh. Oh. oh, just be happy for me. Did everyone read the nine chapters on American history? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, good for you. <laughs> but we're not doing that. One time I read. Instead, we're going to be having a little pop quiz. Question number one. A certain red-headed lady has a gentleman collar that makes her feel like she's 39 again. <laughs> this is about to get weird. How long should this wonderful independent spirit wait before introducing this man to her... 
And there's the weird. Don't tell me you're getting ready to introduce him to Dr. Mittens. And there's the weirdest. How do you know so much about her cat? I'm a listener. Ooh, Dr. Mittens, this is serious. Sounds like it's time for Dr. Mittens and your gentleman caller to meet. You're right! <laughs> no, you're not. What if he's not ready? Oh, this is too risky. It's too risky! Oh, come on. He's a grown man. I'm talking about Dr. Mittens. He's been hurt before, and he's no spring kitten. His life's not perfect. Like my sisters, who married a dentist, and has a pool that's not made out of plastic and sits in the front yard. <laughs> I never thought I'd say this, but can we please study now? <laughs> Yeah, break a paw. I'm out of here. Thanks. Oh, don't forget, I have a date with my boyfriend in one hour to celebrate. I know, I know. Young love is beautiful. <laughs> Hank, what are you doing? There's a line of kids out there waiting to see you. Then I can't wait to meet them, Mr. Condor. That's the spirit you're contractually obligated to have. Have fun. Hey, kids, who's ready to meet Bully the Polar Bear? Yeah! Hello, hello, my poly pal. Ah! Oh, look at that. Polly being smothered with love. <laughs> oh, that's loud. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, what? Do I even call a timeout? Oh, you know how I do. <laughs> Flowers. Oh, dude, you shouldn't have. Oh. Dude, I didn't. They're for Sunny. Where is she? It's our seven week anniversary. I'm taking her to. Shish, women's. <laughs> and yet she's not here. Hmm. Blow off! <laughs> Impossible. Oh. Mm. Blow off. Denial! <laughs> Dude, you might want to sit down because you're being stood up. <laughs> you guys don't know what you're talking about. Then again, you do get blown off by girls all the time. Oh. Not true. I don't even get that far. <laughs> Well, I do, okay? And this has all of the signs of a girl losing interest in you. It happens in stages. Stage one, you're blown off. Stage two, you stop answering your phone calls. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, so I've been told. Oh, yeah, I told you that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no cell phones at the meet and greet. Which is why Polly is turning it off. <laughs> What's now? How many rings? Ooh. <laughs> Two means she heard it. So who it was. Thought about it and turned the phone off. Because she's not interested. I can't believe this. Join us, Chad. Yes, Chad, join us. Join the dateless world of online gaming. No, oh, never. Here's your photograph, little girl. Hank. Hey, kids! Who wants to see Polly dislocate his shoulder? Yay! It doesn't even hurt her. Oh, oh, my arm's made of rubber. Hello? I'm missing my anniversary. Where are you? Well, I'll tell you what I'm not. In a wet bear suit. When are you coming back? Oh, probably about, uh... Never! What? So let me get this straight. Hey, Mr. Contra, I have to ask you something. Just a sec, Polly. I'm talking to my pal Peppy here. <laughs> so, you filled in for your friend while his wife had a baby. Oh, isn't friendship just a wonderful thing? Yes, it is. You're fired. Your friend is fired, and when the baby turns 18, the baby is fired. <laughs> Nobody fills in for anyone around here without checking with me first. Now, why don't you just march your little happy feet down to the unemployment office? <laughs> what do you want? What? Oh, uh... Yeah, I was just uh, wondering if you wanted to go in on a baby gift for Puppy's friend. Uh, I guess that. <laughs> you got five minutes. Then I want you back out there with the kids. Hanky-wanky. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not Hanky-wanky, I'm Holy Wooly. Oh, I like this game. <laughs> no, you know what? Bully played this game a little uncomfortable. Oh, I know you're at work.
work, but I couldn't wait any longer. I brought someone special by to meet the other furry guy in my life. <laughs> okay, you sneezed. That doesn't necessarily mean you're allergic. It must just be dusty in that head. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, well, this is embarrassing. <laughs> There's nothing to be embarrassed about, Miss Bitterman. I'm not talking about me. I'm talking about you. I'm just introducing a cat to a polar bear. Nothing weird about that. Where's Hank? Wait, Hank? Is the, is the Hank in the Hanky Winky? <laughs> and he had an appointment with Dr. Mittens, which clearly he's chosen not to keep. This is a cat catastrophe. <laughs> I just hate my life. Oh. Five minutes are up. Let's go. I'm uh, on my way. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. No, she's, uh, she's coming. She's coming. Uh, it's, uh, it's traffic. Um, wardrobe problems. <laughs> no show! First thing we thought, dating an imaginary woman. Oh, been there. Mm. Hey, hey, you're wrong, and you're, you're weird. You both have to leave, but hey, I'm on a date, so. Are you Chad? Are you really? <clears throat> See, I'm <laughs> not an expert at these things, but I believe a date involves two people in a romantical situation. <laughs> Can't believe this. This isn't traffic. These are wardrobe problems. I've been stood up. There's a way to make the pain go away, Chad. Join us. Yes, Chad. Join us. You, you could be player three. Three. Shiny, I can see myself. Touch it. Touch it. Touch it. Oh, oh, hey, hey, Chad, can we have your shit? you're asking. What are you doing here? I'm not sitting here weeping in the dark over my disastrous love life, if that's what you're implying. No, I meant why are you here petting a cat, Carrie? <laughs> why should Dr. Mittens enjoy human touch if I can't? <gasps> Hanky Wanky ran away. And he'll come back another day? <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know that nursery rhyme. <laughs> I think I scared him off wanting to meet Dr. Mittens. Oh, you've got to help me. Well, I'm not quite sure what I can do. There's a C in it. Make it a C plus, and you got yourself a hanky wanky. <laughs> Shut up, Mittens! You got high lives! Let me have one! Let's go. Okay. There you go. I've got pothritis. Polly? Mr. Condor? Polly, before you leave, there's one more kid you've got to see. But Polly's supposed to be off the clock now. Just do it. Hi, hey, Polly. Oh, boy. I've been a fan of yours forever. Seriously? Yeah, I know what you're thinking. Chad's cool. Chad plays by his own rules. Chad's awesome. Let's go in somewhere. Um, why don't we sit down and talk about it? Yeah, no, I can't really. I gotta no, really, it's fine. bear's room. Sit on down. You can hold it. Oh, did someone just spill something on your lap? Not just somebody. Everybody. Yo, are we done here? No, let's get back to me. Well, when I was a kid, I was having a problem. I would always think, what would Polly do? Don't you, uh, have someone else you can ask? Somebody human? Possibly a girlfriend? <laughs> That's the problem, Polly. Today's our seven-week anniversary, and she totally blew me off. I don't think she wants to see me anymore. That's not true. I think it is. I just I don't know what to do. Ah, Sonny! Whoa! No, oh, it's not. Uh, um, all that stuff I told you, I was, I was kidding. Oh, of course you were. Stop that. Why are you in that suit? Chad, I'm so sorry. I, I promised the guy that I'd be Polly for an hour, and then he never came back. So now I'm stuck in this suit being Polly, and I smell like the inside of a man's sock. <laughs> Well, that's a relief. Nico and Grady had me convinced that you weren't into me anymore. You were taking girl advice from Nico and Grady? 
It's called hitting rock bottom, Sonny. Oh, that's the saddest and sweetest thing I've ever heard. Almost as sad and sweet as you coming to Polly for advice on our relationship. <laughs> I knew it was you in there. Too. You know what? Hank needs to be in here. Whenever there's a little girl or a boy in need or... Or a big boy. Stop that. Polly needs to be there. We're spending our anniversary tracking down that jerk, aren't we? Yeah. We need to find a way to get me out of this costume, Hank back into this costume, and this is going to require you being in a different costume. What? Polly pledge number one. Never question Polly. You were disturbing and good at that. I know. <laughs> I like this place, Carl. Finally, people in costumes making my dreams come true. You! You? How'd you find me? I found this in Polly's pocket. Along with a deck of cards and a human tooth. Cards aren't mine. Hank, you can't quit being Polly. Think of the kids. I am. That's why I quit. Now scram, you'll harsh my smoothie. But you can't quit being Polly. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have dropped out of school to become Harry the Hot Dog. See, Hank, you don't just inspire kids. Yeah, apparently, I also inspire bad life decisions. I bet the parents are very proud. Well, I uh, think you should leave my parents out of this. Um, <laughs> Harry, <laughs> remember why you're here to tell Hank how much Polly means to you, right? Not until he apologizes for bringing my parents into this. Beat it, meathead, unless you want a swift kick in the bug. <laughs> you know, that's not very Polly like. Yeah, it's very Hank like. You picked the wrong fight in the wrong smoothie hut, bud boy. <gasps> bring it, because this dog is steam. Come on, bring it. Stop it. You guys need to, hey, you guys need to back up, back up, all right? Hey, stop it, stop it, Chad. You know this beef stick? Yeah, this beef stick here is my boyfriend. And we're spending our anniversary trying to remind you of how important Polly is. Oh, you're real romantic, aren't you? But you got that from your parents. Maybe your daddy, Chaddy. Do not bring Dad Dilly Cooper into this home. Get you. It doesn't matter what we're doing. The important thing is that we're doing it together. Like Polly Pledge 14 says, you're, you're never, never alone. alone. Oh. Wow, you kids really take this stuff seriously. Yeah, not just us. Millions of other kids do, too. I forgot how much this Polly stuff means to people. So, you'll go back to being Polly? Yeah, I guess being a big furry toilet's tough, but it's a living. Besides, kids need me. They're not the only ones. Go ahead, Miss Bitterman. Give me my C plus and go get your man. Why? Joy, I'm so glad you're here. These kids made me realize I don't want to be alone. Is that Dr. Mittens in there? Are you ready to meet him? This takes us to the next level, baby. <laughs> Come on, Dr. Mittens. There's someone I want you to meet. <laughs> yeah, I don't think this is going to work out. <laughs> but I think this will. <laughs> This isn't going to affect my grade, is it? <laughs> uh, it's hard to believe this is our seventh week. It feels just like our fifth. Oh, uh, in here? No, in here. Me too. You feeling what I'm feeling? Gas station sushi all over again. <laughs> Look at all over for this. No, 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 no. 